A window into what life is like in the rebel-held enclave of Douma. Children, mothers, fathers struggle for oxygen after a suspected chemical attack. Reporters cannot get into the town, civilians cannot get out. So internet videos are the only evidence of their suffering. Government shelling started on Friday. The city was pounded with hundreds of airstrikes and bombs. As night fell on Saturday, civilians told Al Jazeera they saw helicopters and then the first reports of suffocation came in. Because of the non-stop shelling, residents had sheltered in their basements. When the alleged gas attack happened, they were trapped as the gas seeped through into their hideouts. In each building we found dozens of martyrs. Yes, in every single building we found dozens of them and most of them are women and children. Syrian state media and Russia have denied the use of poison gas, calling it farcical. Only a few number of physicians and uh, medical staff are left in Douma to treat the high number of casualties. Many of the families right now in Douma are taking shield in basements and using those you know, uh, chemical weapons like chlorine or similar products, by the fact that this gas goes down to the basement and those people right now who are taking shield from barrel bombs are getting intoxicated with those you know, chemical weapons and that's where the casualties are higher. <laughs> Syrian government forces stepped up their offensive on Douma after a 10-day truce collapsed with rebel group Jaysh al-Islam. People are, uh, uh, since yesterday, without any food or water or electricity. Even the internet uh, is cut. We are all, uh, finding an internet connection is very hard on everyone here. Uh, this is an example of every, a tiny example of every street in our city. Uh, the, the last 24 hours, the chilling never stopped. More than 33,000 people have left Douma in the last five weeks, including more than 4,000 Jaysh al-Islam fighters and their families. Many doctors and nurses also left. Those who remain tell Al Jazeera they are overwhelmed with few supplies and no outside support. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.